You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hello and welcome to Lucky Mini Food. In 2017, that is. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, and thank you for joining us in this new year. And if you haven't noticed, we decided to rearrange the kitchen. Let me zoom in or move down so everybody can see what we did. So we took the dishwasher, which was on the other side of the sink, moved that out, moved it on the left side of the stove, which pushed everything down. Yep, so now we have double the counter space here. It's going to be so much nicer to work with. That's what we were looking for, more counter space. Mm -hmm. And today, to kick off 2017, nice. we're going to do our most requested video, yes. which is pasta. Fresh pasta. As you can see. All right, so Homemade. we're going to do that. And then uh, we did want to say this will be a two part video. So yes. the next video, we're going to make the meatballs and gravy okay. and then bring this pasta back in. But today, we're just going to make pasta from scratch. I'm excited. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm just going to start by cracking the eggs. So why are you quacking, I mean, cracking the eggs now? Well, it's the easiest. Okay. I know quail eggs can be a little hard, right, to get yeah, through that are. little okay. inner membrane. All right, so now those are set. Let's get our flour mound ready. All right, here we go. We are going to start our fresh pasta. Now, why did yes. I pick this pasta, Audrey? I don't know. Why we did don't you? know. This was a pasta that my nana used to make. Now, she called it five finger gavadil, and it was mm -hmm. kind of like pressing your fingers into it and then rolling it out. So we'll see how we do. We won't be able to make the five finger because it's actually way too yeah, big for us. And then what you're doing is creating a little well there, right? Yep, for okay. the eggs. Two eggs. And So basically you're scrambling in. and are mixing it up inside the well, right? Yeah. Okay. Gradually adding the flour from the sides. Oh, let me get you the oil ready. Now you're going to make a mess. There's no doubt about it. That's just yeah. part of the process. And then let me get you, this is like about a quarter teaspoon maybe. I'll get that in there for you. Not everybody uses oil. Some people put salt in. It just depends on how you make your own fresh pasta. Yeah. All right, so as she continues this process, we will keep checking back in, but we're going to need to make a nice dough consistency, so we'll keep checking back. How's it coming along? Looking good. So you just keep working it, and then eventually you're just going to have to start kneading the dough, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I usually want to knead it for about four, maybe five minutes. Just depends on the consistency of the dough and where it gets to uh, over time. Looks pretty good. There you go. Now, we've done this in a full size kitchen, so this yeah. is definitely a unique way of doing it, huh? All right, it is so different, yeah. we'll keep checking back and we'll get it to the right consistency. There's one thing about making pasta, I know I said it, but it's going to be a mess. Yeah. It's usually all over your shirt and on the floor and that's the fun part of it, right? Yeah, except for when you have to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> Who gets to clean this up? No, 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 don't no, say no, me. No. <laughs> All right, I'll help cleaning this up. It's a little di different kneading process when you can't get two full hands in there, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so just take a look at the dough now. See if it's uh, stretchy, just give it a little. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, all right, keep going a little bit longer. After this, we're going to wrap this in saran wrap and then let it set for probably a good half hour. Usually yeah. put it in the refrigerator before we start working it. Okay. So we'll keep checking back. How's it looking? I think it's done. Excellent. Let me give you your plastic wrap. There you go. So that's going to okay. go in the refrigerator. She's going to make a nice tight little bundle there. And then uh, we will come back and then we'll start making our davidins, huh? All right. Exciting. All right, here we go. We decided to start our little sauce here, right? Yep, you're going to cut up some garlic. Thank you. She gave me the honors of cutting the garlic. I do appreciate getting involved in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then now I've made this quite a few times. Let me get this under here. It's a little with the flour. It moves around a lot. Okay. 
And then uh, you basically gonna start with the oil, right? Okay. Anytime Do you that. want. I'm ready. Let's heat it up. Just pour a little bit in. Just to cover the pan, right? Yeah. Okay, that's roughly cut. We're not looking for perfection here. We just wanna basically I make this when everybody's hungry and we have nothing else to cook, so I'll just mm -hmm. Make it real fast. Sometimes I put other vegetables in it. It is very good. Yeah. Nice, simple, delicious. I, I'm guessing there's a name for it, but I just kind of saw it maybe somewhere. Yeah. I know I had it when I was a kid, so maybe that's probably there, huh? Okay. Okay, that's all set. So you could take that and that. And just pour it in. Yeah, just put it in. Then we'll let that cook down a little bit. And then we will come back as this progresses, and then we will right. maybe do some close-ups of that as it's cooking. I see some sizzling going on. All right, so we'll keep checking. So, Dad, I yes. noticed the stove looks really nice. I did. I uh, took some time. I wanted to respray paint the top of the stove, so I sanded it, taped it off, and redid that. Nice. All right, this is uh, probably another minute on the garlic. Keep mixing it. Oh, okay. And then. Uh, yeah, we don't want anything burning now. Burnt garlic is no good. That looks good. Let me zoom into that while you're doing that. That looks good. Oh, by the way, hold on. Let me check those nails out. Show me one. Ah, hmm, interesting. Uh, an eclectic nail uh, salon. Yeah. Uh, well, how did you do that? Well, just layered a few colors okay. on top of the white. All right, this is a good time now. Put the butter in. Butter. I probably make this different every time. I don't have a one way of doing it, but this is gonna make it nice and creamy mm -hmm. and buttery. It smells really good. Okay, when that melts down, then I always add water. I know you're gonna ask me why you're adding water. Well, why are you adding water? <laughs> I do that because everybody likes a lot of sauce and I want to cut down the oil and cut down the butter. Okay. So that little clear one is the water, you can add that. That's good, it's gonna kind of increase the amount of sauce we have. And when you add cheese to this, it all soaks up. Okay, so Dad, do you yeah. have any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions, I don't know, I was thinking about it. I haven't really come up with one exactly. You mean for the channel or life in general? I guess for the channel. Mm. Well, we talked about uh, two videos a week. Oh, yeah, we did. That would be a resolution. That would be good. All right, a little salt and pepper now. There you go. I like a lot of pepper, but not everybody likes a lot of pepper, so whatever you want to do there. I'm going to back the camera up just a little bit. Mm -mm. Okay, so uh, shortly we'll be able to take the pasta. We wanted to get this going and then uh, the dough that is for the yeah. pasta. And then we'll uh, combine this all together at some point. Looks looks good, smells it good. It's really good. All right, so we'll good. be back with the uh, pasta dough out of the uh, refrigerator. All right, we're getting ready now. I get the honors again of cutting the dough. Okay, I'll flour the surface. So I think we're just going to roll out like three or four flat pieces to start so we get a get a feel for it. Okay. Dough came out really nice. Here's your piece number one. Nice. So flour and roll. So I'll just cut them here for you so you have them. Now we'll just keep checking back as we get these nice and flat. We're working on a new rolling pin, aren't we? Yes. We have one potentially on the way, hand and custom made mm -hmm. just for the mini kitchen. Okay, there you go. These are all set. So we want them a little thinner than you normally would. So roll them as okay. thin as you can. We'll keep checking back as we get these as thin as possible. Now you can use a pasta machine, but we don't have one for this kitchen, do we? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we'll be back. How's it going? Going good. Got one done. This is okay. the one. So now what we're going to do is I need the pizza cutter. Is that in this one? or Oh, there it is. Now you can use a knife, but I will use a pizza cutter. And we're going to cut 
Make it a little rectangle, a little more rectangle now. We'll trim that off. We'll have to reuse that. Okay, and then I will start making little strips. Okay. Uh, let me see. We're going to make them one finger. How's that? Okay, <laughs> instead of five. Yes. Now, five fingers normally like, whoosh, 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 it's like scoops them. So we're going to kind of make them like this, little rectangles. All right, we'll continue on here, get this process going. We're like a machine. And then the actual pasta forming part we will do next. All right, Audrey is still rolling and I am cutting. Here, let me move these over to you now. All right, this is the last one. That's all yours. There you go, that's all yours. Thank you. So now and you just take your finger and kind of roll it. Yep. Press it in. Now, if I was gonna make a real full-size one, it would probably be here. Let me do a test so everybody can kind of see that, what happens. This will be a test. Maybe about this size, and then you'd come in with all your fingers and then roll it on the countertop or wherever you're making them on a table, mm -hmm. and you get that kind of folded finger look, okay? But we're not doing that, so I'll take that big one and cut it smaller. There you go. Now, once you get going here, it's just a matter of continuing on, which we will do. We will keep checking back. All right. And then we will use up all this extra too. Get rid of that. And we don't have to be perfect. We're not going for perfect here. I see you're out already, huh? All right, there's uh -huh. some more. Oh, here we go. I rolled it out just a little thinner. Yeah, these look better. And don't worry about shape. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. You just want to just get that nice little roll in there. And it kind of thins it out a little as you do that and then loops it over and you'll see when they cook up. All right, we're done with the pasta for now. We've got a whole nother dish over on the side. We will come back now, get the water ready and uh, cook our pasta. Ooh, the exciting part. Now, this shouldn't take long. Fresh pasta's pretty quick. All right, so I think we're just gonna record that as it cooks, and then when they start floating, they are pretty much done. So we'll keep checking back and uh, see how they progress. All right, we couldn't record the whole thing because we needed to keep the lid on. It wasn't staying hot, but it looks yeah. like they're all floating pretty good. Now you could take one out and try it if you want, Audrey. Okay. That's always a joy. Of course I will. Let's see. The lucky one to taste. Mm -hmm. Soft and ready? That's soft. Okay. That's good. All right, so let's uh, strain these out and then add them to our sauce. All right. All right, final step, combining this and mixing that up. Ooh. Looks good. Yeah, plenty, huh? Get that last one out. Ooh. We're almost set to take this table side. How exciting. Mm. All right, so we'll get some cheese, something to drink, and we're gonna give our fresh gabadil a taste. Tasty. I get the responsibilities of pouring the drinks today. Yeah, Audrey like wanted sides. to do the presentation of the pasta. I do. It's delicious. I mean... You mean what? I didn't taste it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you tried it? Maybe. If you fell out, I don't know. <laughs> all right, here's the cheese. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right. Ooh, now this can get a little parsley, mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. kind of fresh herb you want to put good. on there. Let's get a spoon here. 
Yeah, that might be easier. Do our we'll guests do first. Guests oh, first. Good job. We'll give them a little cheese. That came out and good. And then here you go, Dad. Or for me, actually. Yeah, we switched spots, so I'm last. <laughs> Now, like I said, you can add broccoli to this, you could add zucchini to this, you could add anything you want, really. Do a little more? I'm well, we'll start with more. that. You want cheese? Yes, please. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, I was going to put that down there. Here we go. Let me get my cheese that I dropped in there. Nice little noodle right there. Okay, Sorry. so I'll hold up one. Here we go. So they look like little curled up noodles, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. First recipe for 2017. Mmm. I love it. Very good. Perfect texture. Mm-hmm. Excellent taste. So you think two videos, huh, a week. Can you handle that with I your think, busy schedule? I think we could do that. Well, the next video then will be the meatballs and gravy. Mm -hmm. Then we'll reintroduce this pasta already made since we've seen it made. Yeah. Excellent. I would say overall, great job. Great job, yeah. And until we see you next time, happy, happy eating. eating. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.